Well, <laughs> you know, you say you got to laugh sometimes to keep them crying because it just occurred to me as I'm standing up here, and I'll, I'll, I'll have a question for you, Senator. We're going to have cheap energy at night. Last session, we passed marijuana for all bill, and everyone can have up to 10 grow lights in their house. Now, if you, I hope most of you are not familiar with the marijuana grow operation, but I will tell you that it takes a ton of electricity. When I was on the Sheriff's Department and worked on the task force, that is how we usually found them, is because they wouldn't pay their electricity bill and they would steal power and the electric companies would call us to tell us, hey, we're losing a boatload of power, it's this house. Now, we're shutting down electric plants, re reliable base load, we're shutting that down while we're vastly increasing the requirements if we do charging in every house with electric cars. And anyone that's familiar with the electrical grid, there is no way this state and this grid can support even a small fraction of electric cars. And everyone can have 10 grow lights in their house, in their basement. Is there any way that that's sustainable? It's not sustainable, but get ready for blackouts and brownouts. That's what's going to happen.